Recently, competitive Generation 1 Pokemon banned Agility plus Partial Trapping in the UU tier, which is the second division of competitive Pokemon. Agility is the only move to boost speed in Generation 1, and doubling speed synergizes well with Partial Trapping, a phrase used to describe moves like Wrap, Bind, Fire Spin, and Clamp. In Generation 1, these moves act very differently compared to other generations. In Gen 1, they lock the foe in place every time, preventing them from moving, but not from switching. Slowly but surely, a Wrap user can use Wrap again and again and again, preventing the opponent from doing anything and also slowly racking up damage. Typically, the best way to deal with Wrap, because you can switch, just not make a move, is to switch to a faster Pokémon. If you switch to a Pokémon faster than the Wrap user, you can outspeed and get an attack off before you get immobilized. This is why the combination of Agility plus Partial Trapping is so dangerous. The Trapper can't get outsped if it's using Agility. But besides outspeeding, the only real counterplay is based on probability or PP stalling. You have to hope that the attack is missed and you can take advantage of the missed wrap. Agility trapping strategies are uncommon in standard play but ban worthy in the UU tier. We're going to talk about why that is and why Agility plus Partial Trapping as a whole was banned, and not individual Pokémon like Dragonite which is the most famous Agility plus Wrap user. But first, subscribe to the channel. Most of you are not subscribed and it helps out the channel a lot. APT, the short form of Agility Partial Trapping, had 4 offending users in the lower tier, though only one was using it on a game-to-game -game basis. These Pokémon were Dragonite and Dragonair with Wrap, and Rapidash and Moltres with Fire Spin. As mentioned earlier, when a Pokémon has a speed boost, the main counterplay to Partial Trapping, that being switching to a faster Pokémon, is removed. Unless you used Haunter, the only relevant Ghost type to block Wrap, or Omastar, whose Rock Typing and High Defense let it PP stall Wrap and Fire Spin, you had some issues. You only had two options, waiting for a miss and hitting the Wrapper with something like Toxic or Thunder Wave, or taking the damage and trying to PP stall slowly waiting out 32 pp of a move that does very little damage and takes up a lot of turns. Let's start with the main Pokémon, Dragonite. Dragonite is a phase of the Agila Wrap strategy. With its sky-high attack, decent speed to begin with, and a massive move pool, it's an amazing Pokémon on its own in the context of UU. In fact, in the UU tier, it has many different movesets besides Agila Wrap. It can use moves like Body Slam, Blizzard, or Hyper Beam, just to name a few. It can even use Agility without Wrap if it wanted to. All of these sets are viable options and are arguably good for the tier because they add a unique attacking option. In the UU tier, only APT was a problematic moveset on Dragonite. But just to backtrack a little, why aren't these APT strategies good in OU? Why is Dragonite a UU Pokémon in the first place? In standard play that is OU, Dragonite has a lot more problems that make it far less effective. For one, a lot more Pokémon have Blizzard and Thunder Wave. These are two excellent moves because of how impactful Freeze and Paralysis are, and so many effective Blizzard users and Thunder Wave users are in the OU tier and can't be used in UU. Part of APT is getting the agility off in the first place and it's much harder to do in OU. Also, defensive Pokémon in the OU tier are a lot bulkier, which means that they take less damage from Wrap, and it's therefore easier to PP stall or wait until a missed attack. Without these limitations in the UU tier, Dragonite was tough to handle and Pokémon had to actually start using Toxic to try and hit Dragonite on a missed attack. In Generation 1, if a Toxic Pokémon switches out and comes back in, the poison gets converted to a regular poison. This is why you don't see Toxic very often in standard play. It's not very good compared to Paralysis. But in UU, people were using Toxic to try and stop Dragonite because even normal poison would stop the rap strategy. Normal Pokémon like Persian, Dodrio, and Kangaskhan were the most common because once they KO'd a Pokémon, opposing Dragonite could come in and set up agility easily if they lacked Toxic. Basically, normal types had to run Toxic to prevent being abused by a Dragonite coming in after a death. Venusaur, for example, would also run Leech Seed for the same reason. Pokémon like Aerodactyl would also rise in usage due to the Agila Wrap Dragonite because its rock typing gave it a better matchup for stalling out Wrap turns. Interestingly, first Dragonite was actually tested for a ban, not the strategy as a whole, but that test didn't quite hit the mark. Even if Dragonite was banned, people were still replicating the strategy with Pokémon like Dragonair and Moltres. 
Additionally, as mentioned earlier, Dragonite's other options were good for the tier as they added a unique attacker with a good move pool. Dragonite was voted no ban because people believe that even with the annoying APT strategy, Dragonite's benefits outweighed the negatives. The new rationale was to ban APT on its own uncompetitive merit. The strategy isn't overtly broken, there's just excessive probability management. Games often could come down to whether or not Rap would miss before doing too much damage. Generation 1 does indeed have a lot of probability involved, but players generally saw APT as too much. It's sort of like death by a thousand cuts, and during that time, you're praying that Rap or Firespin will miss their attack. The counter-argument to the ban was that APT was actually skillful. To actually win with agility, you have to create a safe situation where you can agility. That means scouting first to make sure the Pokemon you're setting up on doesn't have Toxic, and then actually creating the situation where you can bring in Dragonite safely. This isn't exactly easy, and pivot moves like U-Turn and Volt Switch don't exist yet. The argument was that occasions where APT steals games entirely are actually quite low. Setting up the agility was skillful and had a luck-based reward in return. In the end though, players did reach a 60% majority to ban APT, and the counter-arguments weren't compelling enough.